everyone, it's Elaine, and today I wanted to show you what I was going to be doing, or what I am going to be doing, at an upcoming retreat. Um, many times I sit and I think, okay, what kind of projects can I do? And, you know, you don't want to have to take everything you have, so you try to pack up and, you know, yeah, you usually do forget something. But this time I said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a lot of the busy work that I don't really enjoy doing when I'm sitting by myself. All right, so I'm going to show you here real quick some of the things that I'm going to do. The first thing is, if, you, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that sometimes I get like granite and quartz samples and stuff. So I got a box of... Um, serrated knives and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my wire wrapping um, the beads um, that I put around it so I've got a bunch of wire and I've got miscellaneous beads now the secret to this is in my opinion the beads should be fairly flat I have um, purchased spreaders and stuff before where it'll have a big old round bead on it to me, that's just not really very comfortable. Um, so that's one of the projects that I'm going to do. I need to get at least 10 of them done. I have that much in um, granite and quartz that I want to turn into cutting boards. So that's one of my projects I want to do. The next project, and I'm sure many of you can relate to this, is I have printed things out. And, yeah, I want to go ahead and I want to fussy cut them and get them where I can just use them for ephemera then. And uh, I've got a lot. I've got a lot. <laughs> so, and then underneath of all of this, I have, those are poems that I want to do. Underneath of all of this, then, I have just some plain coffee stained paper because these are, most of them, um, are not, they're already on coffee stained paper, but it's just kind of papery. So I'd like to make them just a little bit more stout. So that's one of the other projects that I want to do. And I like having an assortment of projects when I go, because you're usually there three, four days. And if I sat all day and did nothing but cut this, it would probably drive me insane. Y'all can relate. So this way I can do this for a little while and then move over here and do this for a little while. So let's, let me show you what else. This one I have some concern about. I'm going to try to read everything about it before I leave. Um, let's see here. Well, I guess it's this way. It doesn't matter. This is a digital from Nick the Booksmith. And it's her Alice, um, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. And apparently it's like the whole book miniaturized. And she gives you the information on, I've printed it out. I think I'm pretty good with that. But now the cutting. I don't want to mess up the cutting. So she tells us how to cut. This is something that I also want to work on while I'm at this next retreat. Then... <clears throat> I saw the other day, it was um, on Seth Apter's live stream that he had on Facebook, and he had these cute little, um, I don't know what you want to call them, little pictures. They were in these little books, and there's probably maybe a couple hundred of them in the little book, and I got to thinking about it. He was tearing them out for his mini collage. Well, I don't usually do collages that are only like four by four or, you know, six by six. When I do collages, it's usually on something or it's in a journal book, which is bigger than. So I went ahead and took some book pages apart and I can use these as they are. Or if it's a single page, my thinking is, is that I'm going to cut them up into kind of like a journaling card but something then that later I could tear up if I want to 
to do collage. And this way it's already out of the book. I know these are going to be my first focus on using because how many of you have purchased books and then they sit on the shelf? So my goal is I'm going to start trying to tear them up, do something with them, and use them up. So right now I've got one, two, three, four projects. That should be enough to keep me busy. However, you always, in my opinion, want to have something as a just-in-case. Because what if this doesn't work out for me? What if somewhere down the line I mess up on the measurements and I can't do it and it, it takes it out of, you know, what my plans were to do? So I have one other thing and it is to disassemble these books and I'm going to turn them into um, kind of a writing book or a notebook with a lot of plain paper in between. I'll use the pages out of the Dr. Seuss and out of this Timeless Treasures book, um, but they'll be woven in between the plain papers. And I will probably spiral bound them instead of um, doing them as signatures. So I will be cutting each page loose from the book itself. So with that being said then, that gives me five things to work on. And look, for the most part, it all fits right here. That's unbelievable because many times I have filled up my trunk on the way to a retreat because I have so many different projects I want to do and the stuff just takes up so much. So with this, then I'll have a tool bag, you know, that'll have scissors and ruler and stuff like that. And I will take either one or two paper cutters, maybe a big one, but definitely a small one. Not sure about the big one. And yeah, I'll have glue and stuff like that in my tool bag. So other than this, I'll have a tool bag and a cutter. That's it. So this next retreat, thank heavens, I will be traveling light. Now, I would like to hear from you. Do you want to do retreats? Do you go to retreats and maybe don't have ideas on what to do when you get there? Um, pretty much anything goes. The main thing is to not infringe on someone else's space, to be a team player and go with the flow. There's someone that's organized it. Let them be in charge. Let them, you know, run the show. You sit back and enjoy you know, um, it's your time away. It's your time to play with like-minded people. So enjoy it. So if you have any questions about anything or you have any questions and you want to talk to me about a retreat maybe coming in your area or something in mine and you might be interested, please reach out to me. Um, I do a video every Tuesday evening and I also have a Facebook group and a Facebook page and of course my personal Facebook I'm also on Instagram and Twitter. You can find me on Pinterest. And I do have a small Etsy channel. So I appreciate you coming by and checking me out. And I guess I'll see you down the road. And you never know. I might run into you at a retreat. I hope so. Catch you later. Bye.